Hope. I hope that they don't kill me in there. I hope I can handle the pain. I hope I have time to heal. I hope I'm stronger than I think. I hope all the books I've read will save my life. I hope my brain is a muscle. I hope I have superpowers. I hope I am superhuman. Hi, I'm Miss Cody and I'm back again with another book chat. This one about one of the most devastating, poignant, and emotional books I read over the summer. So be prepared for a few tears. The book I'm going to tell you about today is called Punching the Air by E.B. Zaboy and Yusef Salam. You might know E.B. Zaboy as the author of Pride and American Street, both of which I adored. Yusef Salam is actually one of the exonerated five. When he was a teenager, he was wrongfully convicted of attacking a Central Park jogger, and he and four of his friends were sentenced to prison. He served 13 years of that sentence before his conviction was overturned and he was exonerated. If you'd like to learn more about his story and his case, a great resource is the film When They See Us, directed by Ava DuVernay, which is available right now on Netflix. As compelling and devastating as Yusef Salam's real life story is, Punching the Air is not actually a nonfiction book about his life, but you can see that his experiences definitely infuse and inform this story. So this book is about Amal Shahid. Amal is a teenager, he is an artist, he's a poet, and he likes hanging out with his friends. He has a secret cut crush on a girl who doesn't know he exists, and he's basically just living his life. One night, Amal makes the decision to go out with his friends. It's kind of late, and they're going to a part of town that maybe they're not really used to. Um, they're just hanging out, they're just skateboarding, having fun, when a group of kids shows up and a fight breaks out. The police are called, the fight intensifies, one of the kids ends up in a coma eventually, and Amal finds himself accused of attempted murder. He stands trial and everyone finds him guilty and he's sent to jail. And when he's in prison, he finds that his world is kind of shut down to this little box. There's very little opportunity for him to make friends, express himself, be a kid, um, say sorry for what happened, even his small part of it. There's very little room for him to be human. And he now has to contend with this reality um, that the world sees him as less than human and that all of these people kind of just assumed that he was guilty based on what he looks like and very little information about him. This book is powerful and it is written in verse. The poetry is emotional and lyrical and it sucked me in from page one. But perhaps the most powerful thing about this book is Amal's continuing glorious hope even in the face of everyone trying to diminish everything about him, everyone telling him that he needs to be smaller, that he needs to be quieter, that he needs to be different than who he is. Amal holds on to hope and he holds on to his art. And even though his future is entirely uncertain, um, Amal keeps going. And in this time, that was really, really inspiring to read. If you are a person who likes keeping up with current events and you're very passionate about the way the world is right now, you would really enjoy this book. If you're someone who loves Angie Thomas, Jason Reynolds, uh, Elizabeth Acevedo, you absolutely should pick this up. This book is available right now um, in our ebook collection. So if you go to our catalog and you look at the ebooks, you can find Punching the Air and check it out immediately. Thank you guys for joining me today for another awesome book chat. We'll be back next week. If you'd like to share a book that you love, please consider submitting a 60 second title talk to our Schoology page and you can see yourself on our Instagram soon. Thank you, bye.